هيا الحين وهيا الله كريم هاي ام شيرا رمضان فروم جيروسلم ام برلانتي عزام ام ليفينج ان غازا هاي ام الا خيو فروم جيروسلم هاي ام غام هاو ار يو يا هاي شيرا هاو ار يو Okay, so me and Diana are here at uh, my old Palis job. At her old job to see her old friends. <laughs> so she can show them her new friends. <laughs> it's, uh, she used to work at a Palestinian television which has still not uh, launched. It's called Palestine uh, of Tomorrow. Tomorrow, bro. al Ghad. So we're gonna go check it out. Show me some of your work, something that you've been doing. Uh, and are you just training, or what are you doing? Just no, no, we already we started editing for. Uh, ah, so you're preparing the programs already. Uh -huh. We're uh, preparing, you know, some teasers uh, to broadcast uh, before the launching. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some show me things. One of those. This is all done here, the animation. No, in Jordan. This is uh, Sabahum Ahla, the program every morning for two weeks. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, she's with us. Who's Hadi? Mona, welcome. Hi, Diana. So basically, I know almost all of the presenters. <laughs> I'm taking pictures. When I'm going to be able to get a new one, I'm going to be able to get a new one. I'm going to be able to get a new when her they were filming uh, while my uh, best friends were playing in a concert, culture shop. That's Ahmed, that's Amira, and I was also singing. I don't know if they had that. It's so this is the only Palestinian. Uh, Rock rap, uh, and this is Amira definitely excited. You don't have the part with me singing? Um, no, I'm not sure. But it's supposed to be somewhere. There. It's supposed to be, yeah, somewhere jumping in the back. I sang one of the songs in that concert. Um, this is Apple, this is Anna. This is only like a small part of one of the songs. I can see hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and I just saw like a bit of the station. So why I've heard a lot about Palestine al uh, Ghad, but why isn't it opening? What's happening? I think that we try to make the the way of the 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 the
هذه الأجهزة منذ أشهر طويلة وبدأت عملية المساومة وبدأت عملية المساومة والحد الآن عالق So he says that uh, the television station was licensed by the Palestinian Authority and by the Palestinian media, uh, Ministry of uh, Media. And uh, for that, they, uh, they, they, they tried to receive all of their equipment to the Israeli uh, airport, uh, Ben Gurion. But, and they thought it was a, it's a legal procedure. But once the, uh, once the uh, equipment arrived in the airport, the Israelis uh, took it. And uh, they've kept it, so they've kept it uh, with them until now. They haven't given them the... So why are you not giving them? Is there a reason for you to say something? No, I'm not going to say anything until now. I'm going to see them. They say that they're inspecting the equipment. And every day they give them... There's no reason for you. So you don't have to say anything about the Palestinians. They're basically just uh, <coughs> doing this to uh, ruin the work of and ruin the process of opening a new Palestinian television station. And also they, they're keeping the, the equipment hostage in order to negotiate with them also the process and how the, uh, the channel will work and uh, whether they will broadcast to the outside world or not. لا لا هم حتى الآن عملية محاولة السيطرة على عملية الإرس البث من رام الله إلى الخارج. They want to control the broadcast from the West Bank رام الله into into the world. Sorry. Yes. أكمل. لا خلاص بكفي. Okay, you have it. All right, no problem. Thank you so much. Bye bye. هاني. هاني. هاني take us on a tour to see the the station. تعال الاستوديو ولا. First of all, in this location, it's supposed to be the news editing room. Okay. We have three edit suits and one voiceover room. Okay. Uh, beside this location, we have here, it's going to be the audio control room, then the studio gallery room. But you have some equipment. What is we that? We have some. There are only the players and some of the lighting and some of this the This you received from Israel or you bought it here? No, no. From Israel we got it already. Okay. So there was no problem with getting this? No, no. Uh, this they are stuck Where it right now. Where did you buy it from though? Uh, we've got it from outside, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's all the... What's you missing? Yeah. What's, 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 what's missing right now? Problems? We are missing right now the automation system, the multi-viewers, the playlist. Okay. Mainly <laughs> the basic <laughs> items of the app, any TV station. How long have you been like this? In more than seven months. The equipment uh, from here? Well... I don't think we have we, we are. Here. Here it's a new experiment. Mm -hmm. We are talking about totally new experiment here in Palestine. So I think not everything is with, is available right now here. Okay. And all of that would return back to the Israeli permissions for sure. Okay. This is the basic concept. Let's move on. They're preparing their uh, mock up. Uh, the changing rooms. These are the changing rooms. rooms. Okay, that it's going to be the makeup. makeup room. I used to love this room. <laughs> makeup room. Oh, that's the studio? Yeah. There's a studio in, in France. We can go to the studio if you like. Okay, there's a. <laughs> so this is the studio where there's going to be news in a bit, yeah. right? We are talking cool. about the biggest Programs, studio in Palestine, actually. It's 300 square meters. It's massive. So now they're just preparing for our news, but, but there won't be any news until you get the equipment, of course. right? It's a news training. So it's, I've heard also that like just like Diana, a lot of the employees are leaving because of this situation, right? You know, when you are sitting without anything visible in your future, it's going to be a problem. Mm, I understand. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to do weather anymore. <laughs> are you were the weather girl? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, I had Diana my own. was the weather girl. But I had my own show too. She had her own show, Tayyip Halas. We, we take the stigma She used to stand in front of the chroma <laughs> and start acting the weather. <laughs> Doing the weather girl. Stand by. Three, 
to one cube. اهلا بكم في الجولة الاخبارية من قناة فلسطين الغد معكم رادة ابو بكر ونهاد حجازي ونستهلها بابرز العناوين. البدء بتجهيز اكبر كوفية فلسطينية في العالم. قمة سودانية تشادية لتعزيز العلاقات. بمناسبة عيد الحب اقامة لزوجين في فندق قصر الامارات فقط بمليون دولار. والى يزن. بذلك وصلنا لنهاية الجولة الإخبارية وإلى اللقاء. إلى اللقاء. Hey, it's a short uh, news bulletin. <laughs> it's only been the headlines. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for letting us into your Haba and hope into your station, and hopefully you'll get your uh, transmission equipment soon. Yeah. Inshallah, you'll be on air soon. <laughs> She's the she's the anchor for the news and she doesn't want to be interviewed because she says she cannot do interviews. <laughs> even though she reads the news. <laughs> she hates the camera as well. So how is it like? How's how do you feel when you're like behind the camera reading the news? Is it exciting? So exciting. Really? You so you enjoy it? I enjoy it to be an announcer or pre present. N not in an interview. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we had some water. Bye bye. So how was it to visit your old job? Well, it's nice to see all the old colleagues and and everything, but yeah. it's kind of weird. I mean, it's taking too long, too long for them to launch, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I still, I still have hope in them to open me. I mean, or to launch, but I really hope that they will launch. This would be nice. It's an, it's an interesting idea. Working. It's an interesting idea, and it's, it's very different from any other. Um, they're all very the young, young and they've got lots of technology. And exactly. I like the idea that they're young, they're not exactly. like the And it's an independent TV, and it should be the first independent TV in Palestine. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do Say hi to Nakam. Arab League, you submit supposed to uh, start today in uh, Libya, uh, headed by the president uh, of Libya, Omar al Qaddafi, and the uh, summit supposed to discuss uh, the situation of uh, Jerusalem. And we are here in an activity which is organized by Islamic Jihad movement. Activities, the name is the Jerusalem Scream from Gaza to Summit. Uh, and uh, this, uh, uh, this activity is organized by Jihad, the uh, Islamic movement. And as we see, they are putting a symbol of tomb as if they are saying about the, uh, the dead who are uh, going from the siege. Uh, and as we see here, uh, it's the Islamic Jihad uh, um, resistance or uh, fighters here. Um, uh, as we know that yesterday uh, there were uh, there was uh, an operation where uh, two uh, Israeli uh, dead they were were uh, killed uh, in this uh, operation. And this operation, uh, uh, Islamic Jihad. Um, declare its responsibility about this operation uh, and also Azadin uh, al-Qassam also declare its uh, responsibility of uh, this um, of that uh, operation um, as we see uh, this uh, tombs ha uh, hold names it's the names of people who uh, people who were killed during the siege on Gaza Samir Shaheen, Masoud Al Abdullah. As the victims, those uh, tombs 
symbol of uh, the victims of uh, the siege. It holds names Muhammad Mahmoud Saad, Jamal Uthman Abu Salim. So uh, as we see uh, those militant men are presented the activists of uh, Jihad uh, Islamic uh, movement, Sarai uh, Al Quds troops, the militant uh, brigades of uh, wings of uh, Jihad Islamic. Um, we will see today uh, if they want to uh, if they want to make show or uh, a militant show. Uh, also, they will hold the, those tombs and uh, take it to where actually we don't know where. And we will be with them to know where they will talk those tombs, which hold the names of the victims during the siege of Gaza, which started in 2006 until now which passed on it uh, 1,000th day until now. Uh, until now the, active, the activity doesn't uh, start, but they are preparing for it to start it today. And as we know, they are trying to send a scream, the Jerusalem scream from Gaza to the South Main. Today which is supposed to start in uh, Libya with attendance of Arabian leaders and we know that there is seven Arabian leaders absent from the summit. So we will wait until they start the activity. Until now we, we will see what they want to do in this activity. So first of all, I wanted to ask you what is the message of this festival? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, among the cemetery, like you, as you see, yeah. we ask you, the Arab leader in uh, Libya and said uh, that they are taking a little decision, uh, like uh, to end the siege, to open the border, to rebuilding the Gaza Strip, and to support the resistance in Palestine, and to stop the relation between the Arab leaders and the Israeli side, and to protect the Jerusalem and the people there. The Jerusalem in, in, is in danger, so that we call the Arab leader to support us to protect the Jerusalem, not to make relation with the Israeli side. So uh, let us speak about the operation which happened yesterday. Is the possible time is good with the time of the operations? Or? Absolutely. The Israeli side continue their aggressive against our people, so that if the Israeli go on to aggressive and to destroy, to, to, to demolish our people and their farmer, absolutely the resistance movement should resist the occupation. If the, continue, the, the occupation should continue, resistance also should continue, and there is no end to this, to, to this uh, uh, resistance until the occupation was end from all Palestine. So there is our uh, many uh, military and wings declare its responsibility about the operation and one of them, uh, Saraya Al-Quds yes. yes. So, uh, what you can tell us about the declaration of responsibility of the Saraya troops? I, I, I have no details, yani, uh, I analyze this detail to give you because I am uh, uh, no, a political, the yes, idea. there is uh, uh, the Saraya Al-Quds uh, sp spokesman can tell you more details. But at all, this operation came as a response to the Israeli aggression, what happened in Jerusalem and what happened also in Gaza Strip. So thank, you. thank you very much.
بس هذا اي محطتين يقول لك اوكي طبعا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على اشرف المرسلين نوجه من خلال هذا المهرجان ومن داخل الحصار من داخل قطاع غزه الحديث نوجه رساله لجميع الاخوه ورؤساء الدول العربيه باننا لن نقف ثابتين امام الهجمه الصهيونيه ضد اقصانا وضد مقدساتنا ونرجو من الاخوه في الدول العربيه So he says that we are we want to we want to send a message from from Gaza and from the middle of Gaza inside the siege to the Arabian leaders and we will tell them that we will not stand freezing without making anything toward our toward Al Aqsa Mosque and we will forces and standing against. The occupation activities against uh, Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem and the Aqsa Mosque. وندعو الأخوة في الدول العربية التوجه نحو استحقاقاتهم نحو الأقصى فالأقصى حق عليهم. So he says that we are calling the Arab uh, Arabian leaders to do something and to do uh, their duties uh, toward the Al Aqsa Mosque. The العملية اللي صارت مبارح. إنه كذا فصيل أعلن المسؤولية عنها فشو موقف السرية القدس معنا هي طبعاً إحدى الأذرع اللي أعلنت المسؤولية طبعا نحن نصدق رواية إخواننا في سرايا القدس بأن إخوان المجاهدين هم الذين قاموا بالعملية. So he says that I'm assured that the militant in سرايا troops who are the one who made this operation. كما تعلمون أن هي رواياتنا الوحيدة التي تم تصديقها من وكالات العدو. So he says that it's only our calls and our declaration which is assured by the occupation sources. دليلا على صدق إعلاننا لهذه العملية. It's a proof about our truth of this operations. ولا ننكر إخواننا في المقاومة بشكل عام. We are not. We are not neglect the the working of other resistance and other movements. Because they are always with us. Because we are the sons of this nation's Palestinian nation. We are always ready to resist against Israel occupation and against any Israeli actions against Palestinians. Brenda, can you tell us where you are suspect from the Arab Summit in Libya, which is supposed to start in Libya today? We can't, we can't expect any anything from the this from Arab because they are always can't do anything for for Palestine or for any. Uh, anything uh, of uh, Arab uh, land or uh, Muslims land uh, so we uh, we we come now to uh, face them and uh, to uh, uh, say our letter for this uh, Arab country uh, uh, to move for Jerusalem and to Aqsa Mosque that uh, Jew uh, Jewish uh, the, uh, all, uh, all the time to decide it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Randa. Thank you. So as we see 
see that people are coming today and gathering to send their messages and their voices uh, with a day of the uh, uh, Arab summit uh, just to tell them do something which could be useful for us and we don't want this summit the result of it to be only a paper and orders which, will, which they will not make in it no, they want uh, acts and they want actions to be uh, clear on the ground and to do something for uh, this nation to break the siege and to, to get them out of the current situation where they are live inside it.